I've come to the middle of the Mojave Desert. There's nothing here except the wind, me, a couple of cameras, this Jeep Gladiator Mojave, and some B-roll provided by Jeep that will not match. Let's make a video. At Kelly Blue Book, we've already reviewed and enjoyed the Jeep Gladiator pickup truck. Look at Lynn Woodward reviewing and enjoying. That being the case, and given my meager video production resources, we're going to target this video on what makes the Mojave unique among gladiators. Item number one, the Mojave is desert rated. Look, there's a badge to prove it. What does desert rated mean? Well, according to Jeep, that means their vehicle has passed, quote, strenuous tests in five categories. Ride control and stability, specifically over undulating terrain traction, you know, tricky surfaces like dirt and sand, ground clearance for cresting whoops and dunes, maneuverability when driving at high speeds through challenging environs, and finally the swimsuit competition. Now I made that one up. The last one is desert prowess, which equals an ability to endure high temps plus intrusive sand and dust. So the Mojave premise is high speed maneuverability for vast open spaces. Let's try that out. As promised, the Gladiator does a brilliant job soaking up the uh, bumps and whoops out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It really is a true desert runner. This might look bouncy, but I can assure you the Mojave is doing an amazing job soaking that stuff up. Oh boy, that is something. <laughs> Across chattery stuff, it's really easy to carry a lot of speed. The thing that takes a little bit of adaptation is building up the confidence that those bigger whoops are going to be absorbed by the suspension. Yeah. These are some really big bumps, and it just kind of coasts right over them. It's really impressive. That is too big. Ugh. 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 It's cliche, but if I had one wish, it would be for a little bit more power. If you really want this thing to move, you have to use the lower gears. Then again, we're blasting through the desert. Momentum is our friend. Wow. Yes, yes. Whoa, that's something. Oh boy. Out of the way, butterflies. Go! I'm also happy to report that in the right mode, under braking, you can get the Mojave a little bit sideways. Uh huh. Adding a little bit of confidence during those sideways moments is a half inch wider track. Yeah, it's not a massive width increase, but every little bit counts. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In total, the Gladiator Mojave is now my favorite Jeep in the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> the Mojave's enhanced whoopability comes via Fox 2.5-inch internal bypass shocks featuring external reservoirs to keep damping fluid cool, plus hydraulic front jounce bumpers that provide additional damping force when the suspension bottoms out. Which, if you're living your best Mojave life, it just might. According to Jeep's press materials, the Mojave also features standard 33-inch Falcon all-terrain tires, stronger axles, cast iron steering knuckles, a one-inch suspension lift providing 11.6 inches of ground clearance, and a reinforced frame. Because no one likes returning a press truck with a bent frame. Going for it. Going for it. Powering through. Whew. Assuming you'd like to use your Gladiator Mojave as a pickup truck, you have 1,200 pounds of payload and 6,000 pounds of towing capacity to exploit. That pulling power is provided by Jeep's familiar 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Yes, that's the same output as the standard Gladiator. And here are some fuel economy figures for those who care. As for transmission choices, an 8-speed automatic is optional, but a 6-speed manual comes standard. The placement of this armrest makes it a little bit weird to operate this. It's kind of like sliding along on a plane here, but it works, and it's kind of nice to have that driver engagement of a manual transmission. For dispensing the V6's power, Jeep has fitted their Command Track 4x4 system. That means there's a two-speed transfer case, Dana 44 axles, and an electronic locking rear differential. And for those who like angles, here are some angles. While staring at the exterior, I'll note that the Mojave is visually distinguished by its silver front skid plate, sand slider side rails, 
orange toe hooks, and for the hyper-observant among us, the word Mojave on the hood, which also features the center scoop. Glance inside and you'll find orange details, nicely bolstered front seats, and a racier steering wheel. Beyond aesthetics, there are two more Mojave features worth mentioning. Whoa. One is off-road plus mode that alters throttle, transmission, and traction control behavior to elevate your sandblasted frivolity. And two, the $600 forward-facing camera that was previously reserved for the Gladiator Rubicon. I especially like that the trail cam, as they call it, is available from the off-road pages right there with the single button. Oh, and you can even clean it with that. Oh, it's squirted. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go over this hill. No problem. I do, however, wish Off-Road Plus was available in two-wheel drive rather than having to flip it to four high because, you know, sometimes you just want to get sideways and stupid. I suppose we should also address how the Mojave drives on normal roads. It's noisy like any other Gladiator, but it actually rides quite well. Bad pavement. No problem. And back to the dirt, to me, fast off-roading is the most fun kind of off-roading, making the Mojave my gladiator of choice. But before trundling down and buying one, we have to address price. In least expensive form, a Gladiator Mojave has a Rubicon matching MSRP of $45,370, including $1,500 worth of destination charges. That's not cheap. And then there are the options. For perspective, though it's filled with very nifty features, this exact Mojave cost $57,720. That's Raptor money. Yeah, so, so watch the option sheet, won't you? It's not cheap, but it is fun and capable. If you can justify the cash, the Mojave is the most joy-filled way to gladiate, which I will do right now. <laughs>